this video, you will see how UFT1 uses artificial intelligence to compose a single automated test script that will run on multiple platforms and browsers. With UFT1, you can test more, in less time, and with less effort. In the previous video, we have created the script that you see here using the AI record feature. In this video, we will create the same script using the AI identification feature, which was greatly extended and improved in the UFT 2021 version. We will delete the script and we'll create it from scratch. So we will click on the AI identification button here to launch the AI identification. We now need to select the contacts, so we'll click it on the browser here. So the main difference between the AI identification and the AI record is that the AI identification is more like an offline tool. It doesn't uh, show the detection result on top of the real application. Rather than it takes an image of it and, and display it in a separate window. And we can make the window smaller here. So you can see uh, this is the, the real application on the background and this is the AI identification window. Let's quickly go over the features that we have here. So on the top, we have the filtering of visual elements and text. We can add the, the detected text or remove it if we don't need it and if it causes the cluttering of the results to us. The toggle button here enables us to, to inspect inside tables and calendars, which is a new feature added in UFT 2021. It is on a technology preview level and will not be part of this video. The next menu is the context menu. We have here several options regarding the context. Uh, we can go to the inspected application, we can change the browser scope, which is another new feature added in UFT 2021 and will be covered in a separate video. We can also select a different application. And the last option here is to add the set context step to our test which can be done either from this menu or by clicking here, right after we select the context. So I will click here and this step will be added. You can see the notification here, that one step was added. You can open the UFT and take a look at this step. So it added us the set context step, the same way that the AI record does automatically. So the controls and the text being detected in the image, we can interact with them in a very similar way to how we did with the AI record. So if we would like to perform the search operation, we can click on the search icon and it opens up this dialog to us. It allows us to set the value that we would like to search for. So let me enter it here. And now we have two options. We can either immediately add this step to our test or we can edit it which is something like an advanced uh, editing ability. So let's click on edit. This brings the step here to the right pane. And here we, we can change several uh, identification and uh, action options. First of all, we can, we can add a position and a relation. It's important to understand that we can change any values here as long as the identification will still be correct for the object we started with. In this case, this search button. Because if you change the, the identification in such a way that it now represents a different object, we expected you to select that object from the first place. If you chose this search icon, that means that this is the icon you want to interact with. So any change that you perform in the, in, in the object identification, the purpose is to make it easier to detect, more maintainable and more stable. So here's an example, let's, let's add a position. Let's uh, say that it's uh, the first one from the top and it says that everything is okay since we have only one search icon in this uh, screen that means that if we ask for the first one from the top we are still getting the same one but if I'll try to modify here to, to the second from the top then it will let me know that the object cannot be identified using this position. So you can modify the description as long as it still matches the same object you selected in the first place. On the bottom here, we can change the different actions. So if we open the drop down, we can see that we have three actions, search, click, 
And we also have the ability to do verify, meaning a checkpoint. We can check whether the object exists or not. So once we set up everything here and we are ready to generate the code for, for this line and add it to our test, we can click add to test here. And the step was added. A new button and a new ability that was added in UFT 2021 is to actually perform the step on your application. Very similar to the way record works automatically. So now you have this functionality from the identification window as well. We can click here and it will actually perform the operation. After the operation is performed, we are taken back to the AI identification window and the new inspect is performed on the current state of the application so that we can continue working on our next step. So as I did with the AI record, I would like to close this dialog that is opened by the search. So I would like to click this close button. But first I would like to check that it really exists. Therefore I will edit this step. I will change it from click to verify and verify that it exists. I will add it to the test. Unlike in record, don't have to wait for the entire flow to be recorded before we make any changes. Here we can make the changes as we go. So I would like to place this check exist inside an if statement. like this. Now I would like to actually click the close icon so that it will perform this close in case that it exists. So click in here and since everything is okay I can immediately click on add to test without editing and we can see it here. Now we can perform the step on our application. We'll wait for the inspect to happen again. The next step I would like to do is to choose this laptop. So I would like to click this text. Again, there's nothing I would like to edit here, so I can immediately click on add to test and run on application. The next step of the flow would be to click on the button of Add to Cart, which is this button. You can see here the, the code that will be generated and performed. So Add to Test, and again run an application. You can see that the image here contains the temporarily open dialog that no longer exists. In order to get the updated image, we can click Reinspect here. Now it's no longer part of the image. So now we'd like to go to the shopping cart or click the shopping cart. Run on application. And as our final step, I will click on the remove text. Again, add to test and run on application. Okay, we can now go back to the UFT and see our script. And we we'll see that the script is identical to the one that we created using the AI record, using the functionality of AI identification. So a question may arise of when to use which of the tools, and their functionality is quite similar right now. So it can be simply a matter of uh, taste and your uh, flavor, but uh, there are differences. Uh, the AI record is more of a click, click, click uh, kind of a test creation, while the AI identification is more, is more of a slower process of going step by step, editing each step and making sure that it's okay. 
and it's more suitable for such cases. So the UFT AI provides you with both of those tools, the AI record and the AI identification, and both of them can be used to create your AI script from start to finish with the ability to edit every step on, on the way to make sure that it's the most correct step to make your test more maintainable and easy to understand. Thank you for watching this video about the AI identification in UFT 2021.